When I was seeking a diagnosis, when I first started getting all of my symptoms, not even knowing it was visual snow syndrome, it really surprised me that a lot of doctors didn't know what was going on with me. And I think my struggle mirrors what a lot of people who have VS experience. On the flip side, VS is somewhat of an outlier. Visual snow was once thought to be incredibly rare and we've since learned that now thousands of people experience it but we're still just even emerging in this area when it comes to VS education and making sure that people know about this. We've heard from people in over 53 countries at this point at Visual Snow Initiative who experience Visual Snow Syndrome. So clearly this is a global phenomenon. It's just not limited to one person and an isolated incident and it being rare. I think a lot of people who have this condition because of the of how hard it's been for them to attain a diagnosis they're frustrated and they're angry but you can't take that out on the medical community i think the majority of them genuinely want to help us and we hear from doctors all the time who hear from their patients and want to know more about this condition so i think it's our job as as a visual snow initiative and a duty for those who have vs and want to help out to spread education, to talk to your doctor, try to be patient and understanding. And I know it can be hard, it can be incredibly frustrating. But luckily now we have a website that you can refer them to. Show them material online, tell your doctor your symptoms. You can even draw pictures, you can show them illustrations, help them visualize, help them understand, and describe your, describe your experiences in detail and we have a diagnostic criteria on our website. So if your doctor needs the qualifications to diagnose someone with VS, it is definitely there. You can print it out or show it to them on your phone or any sort of tablet device.